It is always the most hectic part of the day when little boy Blue is getting ready to go back over to his dad's house, which his dad didn't even pick him up. It's his paternal grandmother because his dad works so freaking much. Anyway, I'm finally getting ready. That's the remnants of his lunch, which was a Nathan's hot dog and uh, some chips. He had a lot more chips than that. And chocolate milk, which he, hot chocolate, excuse me, he keeps correcting me, which he loves, loves, loves. Anyway, um, I am going to have some generic version. This is Walmart's version of Triscuits. They taste pretty much the same. Um, I found these on sale today, which was the, sorry about the lighting, I'm in my room because mom's got the TV cranked out there, bitching about Trump. Um, this is the caramel dipping sauce with the um, apples and caramel, whatever, sliced apples. These are the Granny Smith apples, the green ones, my favorites. And I did look into buying just the big container of caramel because I forgot I used to do that all the time. And then I was like, because one, it was three ninety eight, so it was a lot for, you know, good size container. But still, your girl would go through it because I got a couple Granny Smith apples across the room over there. And then on top of that, um, I don't want to pay that price and I didn't have any coupons for it. And on top of that, if it's there, I'm just going to want to eat more of that and more of that because I'm getting these as desserts. Um, the other thing I got as a dessert is... I showed you guys in the store. Well, Jen, it helps when you pull your head out of your behind. I showed you guys in the store these little healthy bars, which are, this is the great value version. They're kind of like the Quaker um, granola bars. They're the gooey, this, you know, the gooey kind that you can bend and everything. Um, I got the ones that are uh, sweet and salty. So basically they're sweet and salty. So the bar has um, cashew in this one. And on the very bottom of the bar, it's, Basically, your gooey granola bar, cashew nuts all the way through, and then on the bottom, it's coated with like a yogurt dip kind of crust. And then the other ones that are, and it looks like a strawberry type because it's pinkish on the cashew. Those were not on sale because cashews are a big deal, but even still, that only brought it to, I want to say, like a dollar. I don't know if I showed them while I was filming. Anyway, one of them was on sale for like 140 something. The other one was like just 20 cents or so more maybe 30 cents. Um, this is the other one. It's the almond sweet and salty and the great value brand. Also, these were on sale. They were like $1.43, I believe, a box. And um, I believe there's like six of them in a box. So pardon my junkiness of my room. I've got stuff everywhere because I was helping little boy blue sort out for tomorrow for the pool because we keep promising him and he hasn't gotten to go. This is a much needed item because from my horrid pedicure experience with the gel man, uh, the gel polish on my nails and I, my skin started peeling like around, it is still finishing the peel. Um, I bought a foot mask, which is somewhere here. I've never tried it before. These are basically cuticle clippers. The ones that I had from the Dollar Tree finally broke. Uh, what broke was they have this little metal piece here in the middle, if you can see that. You flip that piece around and it will come over here. And basically what it does is when you nip, it pops these back open so you're ready to nip again. I'm going to use that to remove the dead skin and as it peels and it's been working really well. I do it every night. But these bad boys were $9 and something. Not on my tab. It was her turn to shop because we alternate. Who pays? So um, I've got those, which I should probably take those out of the bag before I lose them. More snacks that I'm going to use as desserts. Quaker chocolate, well, they're chocolate flavored. I'm not going to say chocolate chip. They do have some chocolate chips in them, but these are rice cakes. These are like $2.24 at Walmart. Super cheap. There's a ton of them in here. I want to say there's like 10 to 12. I don't know. 60 calories, okay? Checking a cheap, easy snack. Yes, I know people go, oh my God, rice cakes. It's like eating cardboard. No, honestly, these are really good now. They've gotten much better with them. Um, I got these. Um, there's an apple cinnamon one. That's got great flavor. The chocolate one is the richest one. It really, really is super chocolatey. And they have a caramel one. The caramel one is a very light version of caramel. So I don't mind it, but chocolate's rocking all day long for the dessert factor. If you feel like I need something, I need some chocolate, I need some, that'll cover you right there, sis. All right, I found some. I went to the section of the store that has um, your beef jerky and um, what do they call this? One gem. There we go. Whoa, I'm losing my memory. Anyway, um, all of them were pretty much four seventy-five a pack, or even five and six dollars and seven dollars a pack. 
So I found this extra tender teriyaki and it is made by Jack Lynx. I know it says Lynx, but this is actually like flat chunks of teriyaki beef turkey and it is very tender. Um, I almost grabbed a bag for $4.75 for the turkey version, but honestly, you're talking 80 calories down here and uh, lots of protein. I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know that I'll be able to read it for you guys, but it is 17% of your daily protein, which is 9 grams in one serving. And trust me, <laughs> this girl over here is going to eat a little more than this. See, these are the kind of things that I'm buying because I'm up so many hours a day compared to most of you all that I eat and snack a lot more. I get bored and I snack. So I want my snacks to be healthier. Um, this is, um, this one was actually the only one that was marked on sale and Walmart got sneaky. There's no big, huge tag sticking out yellow saying roll back. That means that something is on sale for them. And basically, uh, yeah, it's just on the actual label. So I had to go up there, just skim the shelf real quick and I highly recommend all of you do this. Just skim the shelf and bam, here this one is for $2.75 compared to $4.75 or six, seven, eight, whatever the other ones were. Snacks, protein, low carb. And I just realized most of the stuff that I'm getting for snacks is turning out to be high protein and low carb, which is how I like it. And this is my lunch tray, which I have not finished yet. Um, I got some meats for sale on the tray here. This is probably going to end up being a separate video. Um, that is um, Colby Jack cheese that I got for a very cheap price. Um, underneath there is, you can barely see it in the middle there, is um, sharp cheddar and I chose to get the white. Why you say? A lot of people think white cheddar and yellow cheddar are different. My understanding is they simply don't have that DNC food coloring number blah blah. For some reason in America we're used to seeing American cheese being orange and cheddar cheese being orange and yellow, you know, whatever color you want to call it. It's because of dye. Uh, my understanding is most cheeses are white when they're made. So other than blue cheese and, you know, some of the other ones. But, um, yeah, so I went ahead and chose to go with the more natural version that doesn't have the food coloring added in. The chicken that I have on the side of the plate over here, the little sandwich meat kind of chicken, that is actually um, <clears throat> cherry wood smoked chicken breast. Sounding lovely. Anyway, I'm choosing to eat it as rolling it up with the cheese. So I'm just going to make like a cheese and chicken kind of roll up, skipping the bread. Not that I have anything against bread because I almost threw this uh, Nathan's hot dog right here, which is ice cold now. And it's still going to taste lovely. I almost threw that into the bread and the bun. And then I thought, why am I going to fill myself up with this bread when I could just have more stuff that's got protein in it? So that's where I went with that. Um, I've seen these a lot, but I haven't tried them. It's called, oh, snap. Um, these were by the cold case by the deli. Um, kind of where they have the pre-made sandwiches, like the big sub sandwiches and the roll-ups and all that. So anyway, these are dill pickles that are sliced up. They're supposed to be super crunchy. One dollar for this bag. Not going to kill me to try it out for a dollar. So let me move on to the kitchen and show you guys what else I got. <laughs> Carrying on to the kitchen. Past my spot. Okay, so basically I got uh, for salad bags because I did get some bag salad again. I'm really digging the kale cranberry pecan. Had it the other day. It was a little old, which if you don't know what happens, then your purple cabbage in there dyes everything else purple, and it starts to taste a little bit tangy, but I wasn't going to waste it. So anyway, I got two more of those today, which will not be wasted. They will be eaten quite fresh. I'm going to start eating these before I go to bed so that I am nice and full, because that seems to be the trick for me going to sleep. Can't be eating something healthy before I go to sleep. That's not going to hurt me. It tastes great. This makes enough for two people. Oh, show. Sure. I'm going to eat it as one big salad because that's what I do. So I got two of those. And this is what I was talking to you guys about the things being on sale. This was yesterday at Publix. I went back and got some more and they had a broccoli carrot and it has tomato in there. There you go. And the little ranch dipping sauce. I bought some more ranch today, which is in the cabinet over there because I don't need to open it yet um, so that I can try to have more dip because that dip in there is not enough for me because your girls grab like to dip one carrot, two carrots, and you know, I go through it. So anyway, 
These are the uh, meats that I was talking about in the other video at Walmart because I'm going to split this video up. Um, this is on sale because they have either cut up the rest of the roll of meat or they have had a customer that ordered more than they're wanting to pay and they take some of it out and then they put it in a separate bag. So there's the uh, Colby Jack, $1.34. I'm using that to eat with those Triscuit crackers. Here's my cheese block of the extra sharp white cheddar cheese. That was $2.24. Um, I got some bologna. I have not ordered, um, ordered. I have not bought bologna in forever. I only use eat beef bologna. And not that I don't have a problem with the other one, but it's just the other one just doesn't have as rich a flavor. And I love beef bologna. It's so expensive though. It's a lot. It's like three, almost four bucks here just to buy one container. So I haven't bought it in like the last year and a half. Bologna! And it's $1.90. And that is about half as much, maybe three quarters of what I would have gotten in the package. The smallest one that was like $2.99. So. I'm digging it. Um, save a dollar off, basically, if I do it that way. And um, this one says it is Wunderbar. <laughs> That's what it says. It is in German there, I guess. Uh, beef bologna. So I got that. Um, I got a green machine. I highly recommend this. It's so good. It's got, um, they have a lot of these. They're naked. It's in your section next to your salad mix and all that other goody goody stuff. Let me get up off the floor. Um, it is basically like a smoothie. It's got all your veggies and your fruits, some fruit mixed in to sweeten it up. Um, I did get some chicken breast, which this is the cherry wood chicken breast. It's $1.75 that I told you I had gotten. That was on the plate that I just showed you guys. Um, anyway, the green machine. I used to do juicing all the time. I gave Mr. JC my juicer. It was an older model, though. I'm going to have to get a newer one because they are off the chain with the new ones. Easier to clean, much faster, and um, grind up stuff a lot better. Look at that grind. All right. Anyway, get it together, Jen. Okay, so I got that, and um, this one, great flavor. I was kind of skeptical. Even little boy Picky Blue tried it and went, that's really good, Mom. <laughs> He tried it in the car. So I'm letting that cool off because we were shopping for a while and it's cool, but it's not ice cold. That top drawer, all us belong to me because the bottom one is mom's. Everything else is a mixed hot disaster and things disappear. And that's the biggest pet peeve of mine is when I go to get something and it's corn. The only good thing is no one in this house eats healthy except me. The healthiest thing she eats is pears, which are down there in her drawer. This is a mess. I've got to work on this later. Anyway, I think that was most of what I got. I'm thinking there was something else. Hang on. <laughs> oh, the egg story. <laughs> this one. Gave her three bags to carry. One had a bag, a bunch of Funyuns, big bag of Funyuns. So let's go in her room. She's the only one who eats them. She's the only one who gets them. Light as a feather. Could float away. Okay. Other thing, it had a loaf of bread. Her choice to have white bread. Not mine, but I'm not eating a whole lot of sandwiches and the ones I eat. I'm trying to cut back on the bread stuff. So I'm trying to be healthier, y'all. So um, we've got tons of tortillas. I can make wraps up here, so I'm not really worried about it. And we have a bread pile, as you can see. And she's going to go shopping again tomorrow. Anyway. Um, bring it down and not my pressure, <laughs> my pressure, my pressure gonna get up. Um, okay, so she wanted this, which she was on a mission for. She did not want to try them when I bought them before. Now she's obsessed with them. Sorry, I'm trying to get the light. Sweet and hot salad peppers. Okay, for those of you who eat banana peppers, very similar to that, but sweeter and um, about the same amount of spiciness. They're not overly hot but they're awesome on sandwiches not just salads what they say sandwiches I'm telling you they're great hot dogs I had them on their pizza the other day oh my gosh they're amazing I got chicken in here I'm supposed to cook dinner and I don't feel like it. I'm skipping out we just went shopping it's my excuse anyway um what else did we get oh the egg story really that what we doing today care all right um we have eggs up here. These are large. If I'm going to pay the money and it's only a couple cents, I'm either going to get extra large or jumbo. Just saying. 
I'm the only one who eats a lot of eggs here. So my plan is with these salad bag mixes to, um, I didn't get any sprinkling. Yes, I did. Where is it? Oh, gosh. Okay, it's in the back. I got mozzarella provolone. Mm. I forgot to tell you guys about this. I think I put it in the other video, but these big bags, which have four cups of cheese, one pound, big as my head, okay? Usually you get the smaller bag, it's two something at Walmart, and that's what we usually get. I wasn't looking at the big bag because they were four seventy five, dollars and I was like, Ugh, no. Um, this one, two seventy five. Yes, please, I'll take one. Um, I guess they're just clearing out space because they have way too many. Sometimes people over order at the store and oopsie, then they put the stuff by date um, on sale. So that's where we're at. Okay, I'm getting back up. So, um, yeah, gave her, she had to carry the bread, eggs, and these are the precious jumbo. And they didn't have jumbos in the 18 pack. They only had them in the 12. So I said, cool, check my eggs as you should at the store. Good to go. They're big, hefty, healthy eggs. Them chickens did some work. I'm so sorry for yo. Um, anyway, Chase wants to help, and I want to encourage him to help. So he gets in the attitude of helping because his brother does not. Um, anyway, I had, uh, yeah. I decided. I don't know how many eggs are in here still, but I haven't been eating a lot of eggs and omelets yet, but I'm going to start again. I decided I'm going to use these jumbo eggs and actually, I um, hope this clip goes through. Hang on. All right, sorry. I decided I'm going to use these jumbo eggs and actually boil all 12 of these so that I can eat them on my salad. Slice them up and eat them on my salad. Extra protein, low carbs, no carbs. Um, not that I'm on a no carb thing, but I always like high protein. It's just how I feel. I lost a, a sub over there. He done nodded out on me. He's like, you're talking too much. Sorry about the length of this video. Anyway, um, so I said, hey, give Chase the lights bags that were on the front seat because I intended for him to grab them anyway, but she's grabbing everything, trying to muscle her way out the door. And I'm like, give, she's heading to the house. I'm like, just give him one of the light bags, which I meant the chips with bread. I don't know what this was doing, but all I know is the next thing I heard was <laughs> my jumbo eggs went from three and a half feet in the air to the ground, straight to the concrete. Container be damned, it ain't going to survive that. So I don't know how many are broke because I'm too irritated to look. She opened them up and goes, oh, they're fine. I said, no, they're not because all of them broke across the middle of the shells so they look like they were still intact. But the brake was on the bottom because that's where the impact was. They landed straight down. Ah! Yeah, that part. Uh, let me wrap up real quick. I'm going to see if there's anything else I forgot. Let's see. It's my extra bottle of ranch dressing to dip on my vegetables. My vegetables. And um, I've still got one all up here. There's the honey roasted. This one is the. French vanilla almond. I use those when I'm eating. Oh, there it is. I use those when I'm um, using my yogurts that I showed you guys in another video that may or may not be up yet. Stop it. Getting attacked. This is all my stuff on this side. Her stuff is on that side. Why do we have to be territorial? Because that one over there will throw stuff out because she thinks it's bad if you don't segregate it. That's right, segregate it to your own location where you tell her, don't touch nothing in there. Anyway, I knew I had a can of mandarin oranges. These are going to go on my salads as well. They're awesome. Anyway, um, oh, I know what I forgot. I left it in the freezer. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't overfreeze. Okay, so I did get some junky stuff. I got chicken jalapeno um, and cheese hot pockets, lean pockets. So they're the healthier version. They're in pretzel bread. They're gorgeous. They are spicy. Be advised um, if you get them. And then I got a uh, cheddar cheeseburger. This is the junkiest thing I got. Cheddar cheeseburger. Uh, haven't seen it in a while. I haven't tried it in a while. I usually get the ham and cheese, but I got to have some junkiness every now and then, or otherwise I'm going to lose my mind, and I'm going to eat that whole pantry of junk over there. Okay, and then these are two more eh, pretty junky, but not so bad. 
Zatarain's frozen meals. I've said these before. These are individual meals. Um, it is enough for two if you're like a little picky eater like she is. Um, so I got the blackened chicken alfredo, which is very well seasoned. Got that Cajun going on and slightly spicy. Not horrible at all. That uh, Hot Pocket will definitely beat that. And then I got the shrimp alfredo. Um, I haven't really had that one in a very long time, so I don't really remember. I know it's not spicy from what I recall. This is what I was trying to show you all in the freezer. Kombucha. Apparently the big new thing is, well, for a while now, has been kombucha. So it's a kombucha tea. Um, I guess there's a way to brew it at home. I'm sure if you look on YouTube, you can find videos on how to make it. It's a fermented tea, so I know it sits out in some process that you do and I'm not sure how you, the people make it in buckets and stuff. It's supposed to be super healthy and super good for you. So this is um, Kavita, I guess it's called. Master Brew Kombucha, and I got, oh, Kombucha, and I got the Tart Cherry. I wanted to try something different. I already tried the um, Pineapple Peach before. They have about five or six different flavors there at Walmart, and there's about four or five different people making Kombucha. Um, and there's also something that was fermented Kavita. Uh, ka kafia? I don't know. I, I got my K's mixed up right now. As long as it ain't the one with three K's, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> anyway, um, so I got this. It is tart cherry. I mean, that's the flavor of it. It's not horrible. I'm still getting used to the whole kombucha flavor because it's got a different flavor, kind of like if you drink regular tea versus drinking, um, say, chai tea versus drinking Thai tea versus drinking, um, it's another tea, green tea. They all have their little nuances to them. So it's not bad at all. Um, it, the flavor's not horrible at all. Avalanche. My mother does not know how to, she never played Tetris. I can tell you that right now. She ain't never played none of them games where you gotta stack stuff up because she keeps putting the biggest stuff and the most uneven stuff on top of each other. Like this. Why would this be underneath a bunch of flat boxes when it's obviously a big bulky thing? I had it on top. And I clearly said to this woman, do not move what I put in there. And she did it anyway. She waits till I leave the room and she does it. And that's why she gets it off. I'm just going to say. You move this stuff around. I told you don't move it. Yeah, you do it though, huh? It's never you. And no more ice cream. We got three in here. We're trying to buy another one today. Look at this. We got three containers of ice cream. In it's taking up a whole shelf. It don't matter. You need to eat those before you buy the next one. I'm going to have to lecture you like a child. Anyway, it's time for me to go eat finally because it is 2.32 in the afternoon and I have not had anything but a bowl of cereal in the car, which I was praying Jesus that she did not slam brakes and cause me to spill it all over myself. So do me a favor, y'all. If you hung in all the way to here, I appreciate you. I love you. That shows some sub dedication right there, boy. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you know. It's not a button. Hit that notification bell. Ding! So you know when the next episode of Gen Crazy is going on. Because it's real crazy. Just saying. Tis my life. <laughs> Bye.